Hi Blues, welcome back to Blue Moon Rising TV. Manchester City are through to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. Hooray for that, Manchester City making history all the time. And we are probably going to be the last English team left in the competition. So all those people who say you've got to support the late English team who are in Europe, well, you're probably all going to be supporting us guys, even all the United fans, so get used to it. Arsenal could beat Barcelona by two at the new Camp tonight, but hmm, mm, mm, no, could they? Probably not. I hope they do because that means that we could draw them in the next round and I'm certainly sure that we could beat Arsenal. Barcelona, probably a bit more of a difficult task. The problem and the elephant in the room that we all know is that the gloss was taken off that win last night and it was such an important, well it was a draw nil-nil and the game wasn't brilliant but we went through an aggregate because Vincent Company and Nicolas Otamendi went off. When you see Vincent Company go down like that on seven minutes, and he knows it, he kicks the ball away, he sits down, lies on the floor, he wants to cry, you and I want to cry, and you know what's happened, and you know it's not just a little slight niggle, you know that he's going to be out for a while, and Pellegrini confirmed that he's going to be out for probably around a month, could be more than that, who knows. He, Vincent Company spends more time on the sick bed than he does on the playing field these days. What's he going to miss? He's going to miss the derby on Sunday. Um, I was pretty confident going into this game that we could beat United. I still think we can and should and will, but it's going to be much more difficult without Vincent Company there. And I'm scared now that both teams are going to play so defensively and it's going to be a crap nil-nil that will sum up both teams' seasons. But let's see what happens. Um, and it will be, the pressure will be on City to attack as we're playing at home, so I hope we go for it. Um, what else will it mean? Quarterfinals that we're not going to have company. For the running, we're not going to have company. So we really need to play to our absolute best for the rest of the season and hope that Nicolas Otamendi, who is probably going to play on Sunday, and Mangala form a good relationship. Now, the Vincent Company said that he wasn't eased in in the programme notes before the game yesterday, that he had to hit the ground running. Why is that? Why are we risking a player so much? Well, Pellegrini knows that it's his last season here. He's just throw he can roll the dice. He doesn't need to worry about the long-term effects, but maybe we should have been paying more care, taking more uh, care with Vincent Company's future and his, and his calves. Let's talk about Vincent Company now. Does Vincent Company have a future at Manchester City? There we go, I said it. We have to talk about it because he keeps getting these injuries over and over and over again, and can we rely on him to do the business? Well, let's have a look at some of the stats. He's had 32 injuries in his career. He's had four calf injuries in this season alone. He's had 14 calf uh, injuries over uh, the course of his uh, City career. He has missed 18 weeks this season. Now you add that in with Silva being injured, De Bruyne, Aguero, company, and you look at a team that we can't even seem to stay fit. What is going on? What is wrong with the medical team at City? And when Pep Guardiola comes here, he needs to be having a big, serious look at what's going on there. People are saying it's the pitches that they play on at the football uh, academy, at our academy. Who knows? Uh, someone needs to get to the bottom of it anyway, and that's not my job, it's City's job. The next question is, does Vincent Company should uh, Pep Guardiola be looking at a future without Vincent Company? I think he, he will be looking at a future without Company because he knows that he can't be relied on, unfortunately. He's our, he's our captain, we love him, but can he be relied on? Um, for a big game, no. So he's going to be bringing some other players in or is he going to promote Jason Denier? Who knows what Guardiola is going to do? What do you think he should do? Should he be signing a big, big name, a Laporte, for example, from Bill Bow? He's a name that's been thrown around. Should Vincent Company be sold? Should we keep him and just play him when he's fit? Remember, the problem with that is you're not going to form a big defensive uh, partnership that lasts a full season with Vincent Company coming in, going out, coming in, coming in, going out. So it, that's a tough one as well. Let me know what you think. This channel is all about your opinions. What do you think we should do with the Vincent Company question? Drop a like on the video, get involved in the comments. We'll be there too. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and we'll see you soon.